Hello, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna fix your problem. An error has occurred with the application. What does that mean? Like for an example, you can't open Grand Theft Auto 5 or maybe Call of Duty. So we are gonna fix this problem. By the way guys, if you keep experiencing this problem, you can always go to community and join my two communities, Error Fix and Kiwi. We will help you with these type of problems and let's start the video. So the number one thing what you want to do is close the application that you got the error code on, install the latest system software and game updates and restart the system. So the first thing what you want to do is close the, app, uh, close the application, then you want to go to settings. You want to go down to system software update and click on that. Then it will check out a system software update, but um, it's already installed on my PlayStation. So let's go to step number two. So step number two. If you have the upgraded hard disk drive in your system, reinstall the original hard disk drive. So what does that mean? If you upgraded your hard disk drive, you want to get the original hard disk drive back. That's step number two. Step number three, maybe you have the corrupted data. So, what you want to do is go to settings, you want to go down to storage, just click on it, and you want to go to save the data. Now, uh, you want to choose the application that you have problems with, that you can't open. For an example, Warface, and like you see, I have to save the data right here from Warface. If it says like corrupted or something like that, what you want to do is press start and delete it because it's already corrupted and like that, you can't just open it. That's maybe a problem too, why you have this error code. Let's go to the next step. So guys, if none of these fixes worked for you, there's your last step. What you want to do is, if the uh, error occurs again, you want to back up your saved data, and you want to go to settings. Go to initialization. And you want to initialize your PlayStation 4. But I'm not gonna do it right now. You can do quick. That's the best not to fall because it's gonna take several hours, like it says. Try to do it quick. But let me tell you guys, this is the last step what you want to do if it's not working. Or what you also can do is contact PlayStation. So they can help you by phone, something like that. Thanks for watching guys. These are my tips. I hope you fix your PlayStation or your game. By the way guys, like, subscribe and comment down. Did it work for you? You can always join my error fix community and Kiri. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.